Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we are going to be talking about size once again. I'm doing this follow-up video for two reasons. One reason is because there was something that I did not mention in my in-depth video on size that was really important that needs to be said in this video so that that way you guys will really appreciate what his LD ability does. And the second thing is going to be a video that was done by Nightingale90. Uh, this player, who is a JP player, really goes above and beyond on what Saz exactly does, what he exactly does, and what he brings to team comps, what he brings to the amount of extra brave that Saz gives, and the HP damage up that he gives as well. There's a lot to it with Saz's LD ability that I did not realize when I went over the details of his LD. So we're going to talk about all that in this video, so that that way... Uh, for my global players, if you are wondering if you should pull for this LD or not, well, this may convince you to do so. But, you know, of course, that depends on a whole bunch of things like like how you're doing with uh, resources. What do you have now? Do you actually need them? Do you want to wait? Et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's just little stuff that you, you yourself as a player have to decide, like, if you want to or not. But, of course, this video is here to, you know, to give you that information uh, needed so that you know exactly what you want to do for future planning. So, as always, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content. Now, let's jump into it real quick. So the first thing is, is going to be Saz's LD ability. So let's take example if Garland is doing 13k brave damage. Now, what L, the, uh, the LD ability for Saz is that if you are attacking a broken target or if you break a target, you get a 30% uh, brave gain from brave damage up and you get a 30% HP damage dealt up, right? So if Garland is doing 13k and if you multiply that by 1.3 You will get a total or, or Garland would actually be doing 16,900 brave damage and then on top of the HP damage that's a good amount of, of uh, HP that Garland is going to be doing. So you're going to notice in certain points in this video, when Garland is in the field, that with his follow-up, you really get to notice what Garland actually does. Because when you do the math, you're going to see that Garland is doing this amount of Brave, and then it's supposed to be this amount, this, this total amount, right? But it actually turns up to be a different amount and that is because of Saz's LD ability and how it basically just bumps up the amount of damage that you are doing to the enemy which is beautiful. Now the other thing that I wanted to mention was the, the video that was done by Nightingale90 how they go above and beyond with Saz's uh, video or excuse me with his, uh, his LD ability and how he shows different examples as to how, with Saz's LD ability, you can do some crazy, insane things. Like he, like uh, Knight shows, uh, is if uh, if you had K Tips uh, LD call in the field, right? Uh, if you had that active, Knight also shows like BT effects active. Knight shows so many different examples that it really convinces you. That Sansa's LD ability is such a good, it's such a great bonus for team comps. And then in terms of damage, oh, it's it's nasty. It's really, really nasty. And and I will link that video down in the description of this video, or I will link it down in the pinned comment. I highly recommend that you watch this video because it really just gives you a better understanding. It gives you a 100% understanding of what Sansa's LD ability does. Now, of course. Saz, and I brought this up in my in-depth video, Saz is not going to be doing the most top tier of top tier uh, damage. Like, he's not a DPS character. He is a, he's more, he's more leaning towards a utility slash support character because of all the buffs and now his LD ability, uh, you know, etc, etc. You know, he's not there to do damage, but he really provides that extra little bit of oomph, that extra little bit of brave slash HP damage that it really makes him viable in team comps. And you're going to see that in this gameplay, and you're going to see that in uh, Knight's video as well. How much of a difference Saz truly begins. And I feel like I really underwhelmed him. I really, um, 
I really looked down on him a little bit too much when I saw that showcase uh, when it got released on the JP Defoe's Twitter account because they didn't really show exactly what Saz did until we actually got him and we were able to test him and see exactly what he does and I tell you guys like it's it's pretty he's he is solid now he is 100% solid I, I don't think I would change anything about him he really does bring something powerful to team com so uh i'm gonna cut this video short commentary wise you guys can watch the rest of the gameplay uh, i would recommend you watch the rest of the gameplay or at least some of it so that you can see and if you pay attention to the brave damage if you pay attention to the hp damage and if you kind of calculate on uh, uh, in your mind like how the the numbers don't match up just you know grab a calculator add it up multiply do whatever it is that you got to do and then you'll see that little bit of a difference will tell you like exactly what Saz is providing. And of course, you you see it at one point that um that without the BT effect, Saz is still helping out in doing that extra little bit of damage. But I mean, you 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 get to see everything in, in this video. But you know, you can finish the rest of this video, or you can check out Nightingale '90s uh, video as well because it really really changes your mind on how Saz works so anyways hope you enjoyed this video hopefully uh this kind of give you a better idea and then you know if you watch the other video as well it'll give you a solid uh idea as to whether or not you should pull for size if you play global and you you know you're trying to apply your post uh but yeah hopefully that you found this video informative thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of the gameplay i'll catch you guys in the next one しよう。